Today's my father's your site. Akiva Ben, uh, sorry, Menachem Ben Akiva. I'm going to the your site later in our Zaysim. Okay, fine. The shoes for Zilu Nishama. We're starting an entirely new topic in the Mishnah, Yud Beis Amud Beis Mishnah. The topic is Shtar. We've been through Shtaris many times, and today we will, in Hashem, get a deeper understanding of how Shtaris function, the whole topic of Shibud. Let's give a small introduction before we even begin the Mishnah. Introduction to the introduction. Although I know that many of you know what I'm going to say, but still it's Kedai. What's a Shtar? A Shtar right now, the Shtar we're talking about, the Shtar is a document. Shtar that we're discussing now is a Shtar Choiv. It's a Shtar Choiv. It's an IOU, affidavit. It's an IOU document. And the difference between a loan that is taken by Shtar or a loan Balpe, yes, why do I write a Shtar while I can have two Adim who are young, are never going to die, I'm joking, or people that can just testify that so-and-so owes me money, still I would like to write a shtar. Why? One of the main differences between writing a debt in a shtar or not is with a shtar, you can actually go to the stars of the show called Lekuchois. The Malve, if the loive, the loive, the borrower, fails to pay the debt, then the Malve, the lender, can go to people who bought land from who? from Mr. Loive, and come to them and say, and here we start with a game of dates and chronology, and he says, listen, he owes me money since last Rosh Hashanah, right? And therefore all his land since the time of the loan in the Shtar already are Meshubed to me. Meshubed means what you call mortgaged, yeah? So Meshubed to me. And if you bought the land in Kislev, Tevis, any time between Rosh Hashanah and now, now he's up, all these lands were Meshuba to me. Who's me? Mr. Lender. And therefore, you give the land to me, and you have nothing to say about it. That's the name of the game by Shtoris. Why do we say that? We say Shtar has call, although we're not entering the reasons now. Shtar has call, which means when somebody writes a milver with a Shtar, people know about it. They're supposed to know about it. A Shtar is a famous thing. It's a well-known thing. So if you bought the land and that land owe, is owned by somebody who owes money, and that debt is not just a debt, it's a written debt, we expect you to have the uh, the onus is the new Mr. Buyer to actually find out, yeah, you have to do your due diligence. You have to find out when you buy that this is not mortgage with a shtal. That's a very, very basic idea, okay, of that. And by the way, obviously, if, let's say, they bought pieces of land before that fatal, uh, let's say, Tishrei, when he borrowed the money, then, of course, they can go to the Malva and say, get out of our house. Yeah, because we were before you. When we bought the land, those pieces of land were still free. They were Bnei Choyrin. And therefore, you have no say. That's a very, very, very basic idea. And from that, we'll continue into the Mishnah. Says the Mishnah, Matashit Rechoyv. Now we're talking about Metzias already. Yeah, we're preparing for Elon Matthias, although it's not yet Elon Matthias. And we're talking about finding lost objects. A person finds a shtar chov in the street. Says the Mishnah, If the shtar has a chreis nechosim, if it says in the shtar, this shtar has a chreis nechosim, which means the shtar includes what I just told you before, that if I don't, a chreis means responsibility. If I, the loyve, fail to pay the debt, then you can take any neches, any asset of mine. That's called a chreis. If it's written in the shtar, then you do not return that shtar. If the shtar contains a chreis and can indirectly affect the lokuchois, right? Because that shtar includes a chreis. And with that shtar, the malve can go to other people and take the land from them. Claim, don't return that shtar to the malve. Don't give it to the Malve and don't give it to anybody. Why? Because Beisdin will be poor. Beisdin will actually take the money back from, from who? The Malve will go and claim his money, his debt from the Loive and from his Lokuchos. So that's why you don't return that star. <laughs> it could be a good star, but don't return it. Very strange, yeah? Not only that, look at the flip side. And Ben Achais if the shtar seems like a good shtar, but it has no achrayas, which means that shtar will only affect the loive, but will not affect his lekuchos, yeah? The shtar does not include that nice line saying, mm, 
a chryas. There is no chryas in the star. The star is opposed to what I told you before. This kind of star is a strange kind of star, and it's a big machloikas about it, which we'll see later. That star, it's nothing is written regarding a chryas. So the only person facing prosecution here, claiming here, is the loyde. But his nechosim, yeah, if his nechosim, if his land is being sold forward, the land will not be taken from the customers. Then yachzir. <laughs> That star, which I would call in one word in English, weaker star, it's a star, sun, achrayis, no achrayis, that you should give back to the malve, she ain't based in foin, mehen, because based in that star, they don't use to take from the lukuchos. Yeah, you don't, yeah, that star is, you can be pora only from the loive, but not from his customers. That's why this star can and should be returned to the malve. Divrei abimeyum. These are the words of Rabbi Meir. That's extremely strange. It's one of these Rashi. Rashi says, Time and Gemara Mephorish. <laughs> Only the Gemara can explain us the reasons. Of course, there are no questions right now. Excuse me. The Chachomim Oimri, the Chachomim say, Chachomim argue on Rabbi Meir, and they say even more, even more extreme. Chachomim say, Ben Kachu Ben Kach Loyachdil. Whatever the case may be, with or without a Christ, don't return the star. Because Bezdin will use the star, meaning the Malve will come and charge. With the shtar, which is what he's supposed to be doing, don't return the shtar because the Malvi will use it. Very, very strange Mishnah. What's going on here? I'm absolutely, you know, stumped. And that's why I want to start the Gemara. But of course, the Piran Gallery first. Yes. Commercials. Yeah. Hmm? Says the Gemara. Bemaya Skina. Frag the Gemara in nice English. What are you talking about? What is the Mishnah talking about? Let's see what, what the story is. First of all, before we continue to the Gemara, who says the Shtal is a good Shtal, right? In other words, when somebody is presented with the Shtal, then he has, says the Ritva, the Hedegar Ritva says three things he can say. Sometimes he can say the Shtal is Mizuyev. Yeah, that's not always a good claim. Sometimes the Shtal is Mekuyam. First of all, he can say it's a forged Shtal. He can also say, I wrote the Shtal, as we'll see later, but I never used it. He found it in the street. I wrote a star because I was going to borrow, but it didn't yet borrow. So it's a good star, but wasn't yet activated, so to speak. I never really borrowed the money. And then he'll use the, <laughs> the star against me, give it to the wrong hands, give it to the Malve. Thirdly, he can say, I already paid. I already paid. And I paid, and it fell maybe from my pocket, from the Loive, and you're giving it to the Malve. Now, usually, it's not so easy to say, let's say that the star is Mizuyev, or to say that the star wasn't used, what we're going to see later is, because the star fell, I'm already giving you an introduction that will help you later, a star that's found in the street is very funny. Something is funny over here. Normally, people hold onto the star as for dear life. That's the only way of the Malve to get a lot of money back, yeah, for of his loan. Yeah, you keep it in your safe. You don't walk around the street with it showing, uh, yeah, Sometimes, you know, you give a credit card to a child, you warn him about 15 times, you know, hold on to it, yeah? In other words, you don't you don't just uh, flip it around. So the fact the star was found in the street means that could be that's a star garua. That's a star which we could claim against it, that kind of star, if it was a good star, the Malva wouldn't have lost it. Maybe the Malva lost the star because it's a forged star or a paid star. Maybe, you know, when people pay, pay, play funny money, monkey business, they don't mind losing it because they know that they're not really doing the right thing. That's a general Ashkofa here. But now, with that in mind, let's start the Gemara. What's the story? Let's say the Chayv is Moide. <laughs> let's say the Chayv, the Loive admits, yes, it's a good star. Yes, I didn't pay. It's a good star. If so, <laughs> if you have a Christ Nechosim, and the poor customers are going to be affected, why not return it to the Malve? Amoide, he admits. If the Loive admits, it's an ideal, beautiful, uh, you know, uh, fairy tale story. The Loive is an honest guy. He admits, yes, it's a star. Yes, I didn't pay yet. Yes, it's all good. And still, the Mishnah says not to give it to the Malve. That's ridiculous. Why did you give it to the Malve? Because you go against the Lukuchet. Yeah, let him go against the Lukuchet. Yeah, that's part of the deal. If the lawyer fails to pay, the Lukuchas come second. That's the that's the deal since the, since time immemorial. Unless you say the other option, the ik she'en chayev moide. If you say that the chayev, the alleged chayev, the lawyer does not admit, 
Rashi picks an example. He says, let's say, Shashtar Einoi Parua. Yeah, let's say he says, yeah, he's not murdered. Let's say he says it's been paid already. He doesn't admit it's a good star or it's a star that was already paid then for whichever reason. Let's, without going to details, excuse me. If we say that the star is not a good star, why? Because he claims, and we listen to him when he says it's not a good star because it fell, as we'll see later. Yeah, Again, if you believe him, it's not a good star. Remember what the Mishnah said? If the star has no achrayas, right? If the star really is a good star, but without achrayas nechosim, then you give it back to the Malveh. What? How could that be? Why give it to the Malveh? Give it a gun to his hand against the poor Loive who claims that it's false. Continues the Gemara, the question, we're still in the question. Nehi, what's Nehi? Although, Although the Loigabi Mishabdi, even though the star is not a super duper powerful star, because you can't use it to take from the mortgage stock from the sold lands, like Yaakov said, it's lands, yeah. But from Bnei Choirin, I'll use it, Bnei Choirin, from regular pieces of land, from cash, from, from I don't know, any other thing, the Malve will use it. How can, how can you give a thing to the Malve when the Loigabi claims it's a false star? Let him talk, let him prove his point. Why do you give a gun to the hands of the mouth that used against the loyver, but the loyver says he's innocent? So what's going on over here? Make up your mind. If the star, if he's more, again, what kind of funny thing that is, you you oh, you do give give back a star that is not a Christ Nechosim, but you don't give back a star that has a Christ Nechosim. What does a Christ Nechosim have to do with the price of cheese? <laughs> See, they're a good star. It's not a good star. If you believe the mouth with the loyver, what does a Christ Nechosim have to do with, with, on earth with the price of anything? Answers the Gemara. And we're going to have basically two answers. This Gemara is one of these Gemaras that has many details. At the end of the day, the Gemara will give us, the Gadol, two answers. There are two possible answers now. One leading up to Rav Asi, one Abaye. What could be a problem with the star? It's a good star, but there's a problem vis-a-vis the Lekuchos, the, the customers that maybe are cheated over here. Answer number one is developing now. That's the first answer. Yes, the Chayv admits it's a good star, everything nice, which means the star as of itself is even admitted by the Loibe to be an okay star. And it wasn't yet paid. So what's the problem? The problem is the date game. You know why over here we have an issue with Achrais Nechosim with the Lekuchos? Why we try to protect the rights of the customers of the loyve? I'll tell you why. The chayshinan, what's chayshinan? We are concerned. Very good. Shem of lilvois benisan. Maybe the loyve planned to take a loan, so he wrote a very good mehadrin and mehadrin. But that's eda charedis star. He wrote it in Nissan. You know which Nissan of tafshin pei aleph. Nissan tafshin pei aleph. Mr. wrote a very good star with Adim. The Adim, they write the star for him. What a star you've never seen so kosher in your entire life. And he says, I, Shimon, hereby declare that I borrowed from who? From Reuven, million dollars. Only million dollars. Yeah, okay, very nice. The actual loan actually took place half a year later in Tishrei Tafshin Pays. Maybe the whole va took place half a year later. This is not a star mukdam that they played around with the date. He just postponed taking the loan. This guy planned to take a loan. He wants to be very, very well planned. He's a good American. He has plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, plan E. Americans have all the plans as opposed to us Israelis who do everything last minute. Very nice. Beautiful. Love it. Very good. If so, it's a compliment for you. Yeah. So now, yeah, his plan A was to take a star, to take a loan from someone. Half a year in advance is writing the star. But the actual loan... And the real Shibu, the real deal was only activated, really happened. He borrowed the money when? Half a year later. Hmm. So what's the problem? The problem is you're cheating the Lekuchos. Continues the Gemara. The Osi Lemitraf Lekuchos Shaloi Kedin. Oh, a Lekuchos you're going to suffer. It's a good star. It's a good loan. Between the Loiba and the Malva, everything is beautiful, lovely, and goody. But, excuse me, see what happens here? It's like Ishtar Mukdam. Why is it Ishtar Mukdam? Which is great. What's going on over here? Imagine yourself that another guy, another guy, Shlumiel, Shlumiel, the, the one who bought lands from who? 
He bought a piece of land from the Lloyd there. When did he buy it? He bought it. You know when he bought it? He bought it before Tishrei, after Nisan. Hmm. He bought it in of half Shinte Aleph, between Nisan and Tishrei. According to the Emes, to the truth, then his land is not mortgaged because really he bought the land before the loan took place. But the Shtar shows differently. They come to Beisdin and they show, look, the Shtar shows that as if the Milda was half a year earlier. And therefore, they're going to snatch away the land from him very, very unfairly, yeah, with big injustice over here. That's what we're concerned about. We're concerned that maybe you don't know the name of the game here, the date, the chronology is an issue. You understand what's going on here, yeah? In other words, the real loan took place after Shlomiel bought the land. So Shlomiel is okay. He legally holds onto the land. But the star shows as if he bought a land already mortgaged. The star is predated. It's not really a predated star, by the way. Not that they sat in Tishra and they said, hey, hey, let's lie and let's make a predated uh, date. No, the date was right. But because there was that lapse of time between the writing and the actual meal there, that huge gap is a very terrible, is, is, is a terrible disaster for the Lakuchas. We've seen it in Rosh Hashanah, the Vas, or many places. Okay? So that's why you don't give it back to the Malve. Keep it by you. Frek the Gemara, obviously, the obvious question, Ihochi, that's a cool concern, but if so, Kol Shtari dos lehachi. Every star that comes to you should be choshesh. Why is this a Gemara about Metziah, about finding in the street? Any star that comes to Beisdin, you should voice the same concern. <laughs> Any, there's no way to know the dates. You don't have a <laughs> carbon dating of a scientist there. There's no carbon dating in the star, right? The star says what? The star says Nisan. The Alva took place in Tishrei, and it all, it's all kosher. They don't mind the Malva and the Loiver. They're happy with life and enemy to each other. But the Lekuchas, you should always be concerned, not only if you find it in the street, even if it comes to Beisdin regularly, the regular procedure, same chashash, same concern, right? Why aren't you concerned always? So no star will be good. Answers the Gemara, no. Now, now you'll see what I told you before. Answers the Gemara, nishtazoi. Kol shtari loy rei. Other stars are not, to use simple English, are not bad, inferior. Regular star, we don't have to look under the balatot, as they say, to look into the tzitzis and say, maybe it's bad. So regular star, we assume a regular star was written the same date as the loan. Everything took place the same date. So is the chazoko. So is the assumption. Hani rei. Those stars, this star, and he rush and the ritva go ballistic. This star is really a bad star. The star that fell onto the ground doesn't schmeck right. The fact that the star was fe- fell on the floor makes us be suspicious. A star is not meant to be on the floor. Yeah? Yeah, you see a little child in his room, in his house, how cute. You see a little child roaming in the street 10 kilometers away from his house. What's the child doing 10 kilometers from his house? Three years old, dysfunctional family. The fact that a star was on the floor in the street and found means something is fishy over here. And then we begin to ask questions. Once we begin to ask questions, we say, as Rashi says, look at the very end, Rashi he says even more, Hani Rei Hoil Venofal Itra. Once it fell, we're beginning to write, raise eyebrows. The Shlomir Moyo Kosher Hoyonizaboy. Had the Shtar be a kosher star, then the Malve would be Nizar, be careful. Because the Malve knows that his star is actually, it's not no kosher per se, but it ends up being non kosher. Why? Because this star, really, at the end of the day, when he'll present it in Beisdin, he'll be lying. Because he'll present it in Beisdin, all he wants is his money back, the Malve, right? And he'll say, look, 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 the date is half a year earlier. Half year earlier than the truth means that all the Lakuchas who bought during these six months are losing, right? Mimela, a person who knows that he's lying, is less careful. He is already not, the emiss is not with him, or at least we have concern to think about it already. Once it fell, we're not so, then we begin to ask questions. But really, that's the basic idea of this answer. We're concerned that the date is wrong over here, and that's why, and that, by the way, already, we have the core answer already. That's why the stars of itself could be a good star. If there's no Christ in the costume, give it back. They're not hurting anybody else. Yeah, Two adults consenting. <laughs> the Malve and the Loive are happy. His Loive is Malve. But once there is an Achrayas in it, and the Achrayas is in the star that fell down, mm-hmm, you found it in the garbage can somewhere, in the street somewhere, then we say with Achrayas, we're concerned that the star is an iffy star and affects other people 
called the Lukuchos. The Lukuchos may be losing, and that's a concern. Yes. No, with any star, it's not an issue because it's, it wasn't found in the street. A star presented to Beisdin is assumed to be a good star. Beisdin know how to check it, and it looks like a good star, it smells like a good star, and talks like a good star. Yeah, and therefore, we're not going to look for, you know, how do you say in English, under the balata. We're not going to look for unnecessary issues, you know, to look for trouble when it's not necessary. We assume the date, usually the date and the loan are the same time. I wouldn't have written a Ishtar half a year before. Maybe he, somebody else will find it. It's not such a good thing for the lawyer. It's not so common to happen. So that's why usually we're not concerned. Once Ishtar is found on the floor, then our, our then our antennas are raised. And then we say, I'm not sure if this star is so kosher. And therefore, then we're concerned that even if it's a good star with good aid and good everything, then we're concerned about some kind of you know mismatch with the date. And the actual event, which will affect the Lukuchas. Again, you can give it back to the Lord, the, to the mother, but if there's a, a chryas affecting other people, the innocent potential victims of Lukuchas, then we don't give it back. You think in Allah or in the. No, no, no. In the Gosh, yeah, yeah, that's going to be so my there. question is here then obviously okay, mm -hmm. the Gemara, that wasn't a oh no 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 we're now about to enter what's this norm in the Gemara. good question don't yet derive from here on the entire halakha now we're going to go more into this issue of predated you can ask the same question in a few minutes you'll get a different perspective completely so good you're, you're holding in the right place okay continue uh, am i recording No, yes, I'm recording. Very good. Hello, this man. Frag the Gemara, we are five lines from the bottom of the page. Yud, Beis, Omud, Beis. Frag the Gemara, Hello, this man. This is answering a question of parents. It says in the Mishnah, it says in the Mishnah of the Basra, Kois vin shtar leloive. Who writes the star, my good friends, after we learn stories in the Basra? The Edim. The Edim write the star, they are kilu, employed by the loive. The Edim write, we are witnessing the fact that Mr. Loive borrowed from Mr. Tokhachovsky, the Malve. Says the Mishnah, Kois in Shtala Loive, Edim are allowed to, Lechatchila, to begin with, Edim are encouraged to write a star to the Loive, to the borrower, and write, dictated by the Loive, I borrowed from so and so, Afalpi She'en Malve Imoi, even though the Malve is not with him. Hmm. Which means what? Which means, which means that. We actually encourage something interesting here. They, the lawyer comes to two friends in Koilal at work, wherever, in shul, and he says, you know, guys, I want to borrow money from whoever, for Bach Khachovsky, and what? And please write the star for me, and I will now write, I, so-and-so, da-da-da, I am borrowing from Khachovsky a million dollars. They did not see the loan. They don't know Khachovsky, they don't know anything, and yet we say they're allowed to do that. How do you allow that and encourage that to write such a thing? We should be concerned. Right? Why aren't you concerned? Let's say this is taking place in Nissan, and the guy says, listen, guys, I really need cash to buy the Passover kosher food. I keep the Pesach. And what? He needs money. And he says, you know, I am about to borrow money. And therefore, help me write a star choiv, I'm a loive, I'm borrowing from the malve. Why? They didn't see the loan. Maybe he will really take the loan only in half a year's time. And that will be a disaster. Why will it be a disaster? Says the Gemara. The Ossi, he will come to lemitra flekuchos shaloikedin. He will come to be toref, to charge, to take from the lekuchos shaloikedin against halacha, against justice. Why? Again, the same thing. <laughs> All the Lukuchas between Nisan, which is now, until the following Tishrei, that's a long time. If you're a good uh, businessman, if you're a good real estate dealer, you can sell 10 apartments that day of your, right? So all the people who bought 10 apartments or 10 flats between Nisan and the following Tishrei, they are a, basically, you're helping them to be cheated on. You're lying to them, right? 
because he'll come with an early star and say, hey, I was here before. No, you're not here before. Have you ever seen an Israeli queue a line and the Israeli says, I was here before you? No, it never happens. Never happens. Stop, I'm telling you a, a fake story. No, it never happened to Alan, right? You were here and then he says, I was here half year before and I, I called the place. It doesn't happen. I know. It's science fiction. So basically, that's what this guy is doing, but with a lot of money. With a lot of money. Why? Basically, the star shows Ki'ilu, he was before the Lukuchas, or he was after. Saudi encouraged that. Why don't you standardize, right? That you should always, as you're saying, we should always make sure that the star is written only after you see the halva taking place. Omar of Asi, oh, Rav Asi is the one who is the torchbearer of this territory. Omar of Asi says, Rav Asi, Usually you do not allow to do that. You, you are not allowed to do that usually. The only time you're allowed to write an early star, so to speak, is shtore hakno'o da shabid nafshe. What shtore hakno? What's la haknois? We all know. Like haknot is like, like to sell. I would call the shtore hakno a super, super uh, mortgage star, super shibud. Says Rashi, look at the first Rashi in the page. Shemakne loy nechosov mehayoyim. The loive gives his assets to the malve from today, six years, be six months before the Alvo. Ben yilve, ben lo yilve. Wow. Even if I will not borrow from you, I'm still mortgage. It's a one side mortgage. He's so desperate. Don't ask me why I did it. Please don't. Jeffrey Bell knows I don't like these questions. Kasha from Iceland. A person was very desperate. And he agreed to these funny conditions with the, on the side of who? Of the Malve. And the Malve says, I want your mortgage, whether you will get the money from me or not. Wow. Okay. Yigbe Menlo says, man mayoim. Which means, which means like this. We're talking here about a shtal. Shtal hakno that says, I hope to borrow from so-and-so. Yeah. And my karkois are mortgaged to him already from now, from Nissan, regardless of... Whether I will take, I will not take Kalvon six months' time, six years' time, or today, or ever. So now that's a very good answer. Why? Because we are always saying, hey, it's not fair. <laughs> what are you talking about? How can you take the land, right? The said the real Shibud only happened in six months' time. Yeah, you're predating, you're playing games. But if you say that Shtar HaKno is a very specific Shtar, which states that the Shibud the nechosim, the lands of who? Of the Lord of Abishu, but now, 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 era of uh, Pesach, regardless of the actual time of the loan. We always connect the real Shibud to the loan. Shtar no is a cool thing. It connects the Shibud not to the loan, but to the Shtar. So there is no early Shtar. Whenever the Shtar is, that's when the Shibud takes place. But it's only Bashitra Akno. If it's written in the Shtar specific, what? Specific condition that this star is what creates the Shibud, regardless of the actual loan, why can't I do it? Only in that case, we're making a huge ukimta. Then, and only then, said the Mishnah in Bava Basra, that you, the Edim, can write the star even in the absence of the Malve. Why not? Because Lamaise is Meshab, and his lens to the Malve, regardless of the actual Alva. So no cheating. It's, it's really Amis. Really, this star is the one and only cause for Shibud. So if the star is written in Istan, yes. Then people who, who bought lands from the law in ER, Sivan, Tamuz, of Elu, yes, they really are mortgaged because the mortgage is stolen in the star and not stolen in the actual loan. Even if the loan took place in 60 years' time, Loch Patli. But that's only Shitra Akno, not always. In those stars of Akno, very, very specific stars, which I've never seen before in the Gemara, those stars, they're unique ones. That's all. Quick ones, yes. Thank you. Oh, now let's go to our Mishnah. According to Ravasi's idea, now we're actually attacking him from the Mishnah. If so, if you're telling me that Shtorak no are good, right? And other than that, let, let's summarize what Ravasi said. Regularly, normally, Peretz is right. Normally, not just by Goyim, Lavdil, by Jews. A regular star that's not a Kno, we do not allow funny business with playing with the dates. You only write the star at the date of the loan. Yofi. Unless it's a star, no. If you really want to have an earlier star, for whichever reason, Baruch, then what? Right, it's a star, no. Star, no means the Shibut starts from today, regardless of the Alvo. And then it's true. Then you're not cheating from the, the, the Kuchos. Really, it is. 
from the time of the of the writing. Iochi, if everything is so kosher, Masnisin, then our Mishnah, uh, our Mishnah does make sense. What are you concerned about? What did the Mishnah say? Masnisin the Ktani imiesh ben chais nechosim lo yachzir. The Mishnah said that if you found a star in the street and the star has a chais nechosim, which means there's a third party here, the loyve and the malve, they both admit. The malve, of course, admits. And the loyve admits, admits, but you have other parties, the uh, potentially vulnerable akuchas, don't give back. And we said that the borrower is moide, agrees. So why did we say there's a concern? Why we're protecting the little miskinim vulnerable akuchas? We said why? We said the star is good, but not good. <laughs> the star is, was written in Nisan. The Alba took place actually, in fact, half a year later. And you, with your really, at the end of the day, early star, came out early, you'll come to, to attack, so to speak. You'll come to charge from the Lukuchus, the, the buyers of the borrower, when? Shaloi Kedin, right? They're really before you, and you'll say that they were after you, right? If so, am I? Am I lo Why don't you give back to the Malve? Let's look. If it says in the star the magic word, Hakno, which means a super duper shibud ha shabid lenafshe. Then there is a shibud right from the start, right? A kno means the shibud starts, kicks in, kicks off when at the time of the writing of the star, regardless of the alvo. Then there's no problem. Then the lukuchas are not miskinim. The lukuchas are wrong. They really bought something from a real mortgage land. Yeah, who cares was alvo or not? Not, not irrelevant. Ibeshtar de lo kno, and if the star is a star without a kno. If the star is a regular star choid without the magic word of no, then there's no concern that such stars exist. You know why not? The Ha'omart, you told me yourself, Ravasi, you told me that a regular star without a kno, if I'm a good aid, Adim are always kosher people. You have to realize Adim are not some any Jomo on the street. Adim, normally, we saw it in Vasra, are good, honest, knowledgeable people. Yeah? If so, we instructed the Edim that unless it's a star, no, if it's a regular star, if the Malve, if the lender is not together with the Loive, we don't see with our own eyes the actual uh, 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 transaction taking place, the, the loan, Loikas Vinan, we don't write such a star. So what's the Mishnah concerned about? Your Abasi painted a perfect picture, right? If it's a Kno, then the star is good. And yes, you can't jolly well, as they say, start the shibud from the time of the of the writing. And if you're concerned about a star that's earlier, such stars don't exist. Why? Because we don't allow people, Adim, to write the star unless they know both Malva and Loiva. That's a standard, like in banking. That's a standard thing, right? In halacha, halachic banking, yeah? You only write the star if the Malva and Loiva in front of your eyes only then you write the star and you see the loan taking place. So what's the concern for the Mishnah? So, so when, what, what is Mishnah talking about? Rav Asi's answer is, before we say it in Aramaic, I'll say it in English, in different words from the Gemara, he says, we don't live in a perfect world. Did you ever realize that? I don't know, yeah? Sorry to blow your bubble. We don't live in a perfect world, yeah? Maybe you thought otherwise. Answers the Gemara. Omar he answers Rav Asi. Answers Rav Asi. Even though min hadin, by the letter of the law, regular star choy the lava kno that's not that super duper kno kinyan of the mortgage b'shibud kileka malve ba'ade loikas vinan when there's no malve together with the loyve we don't write them. In other words, yes, you're right. That's the standard. The standard is the halacha is. You don't write the star to the loyve unless the malve is with him. You only write the star if we know really know the alva took place. However, masnisin our mishnah given the nofal nofal. Since the star is a star that fell, that star is very suspicious because stars usually don't tend to fall and people don't just drop them. One of the last time you found on a million dollars in the it happens. You find a credit card. It's very rare. Yeah, people don't usually lose those very, very valuable things. And if it did fall, then it's already funny. It's already bad in our eyes. It's already looked at more suspiciously. 
We're concerned what's Ikri. Maybe it happened. Maybe it happened. And he wrote such a bad star. Maybe really the bro kolocho. Maybe really the Malve and Eloy. They could be like you said, Baruch, the Malve wanted to be super extra right? secure that you'll have the star as he's uh, uh, mustering up the money, whatever the case may be. But because the Malve, you know the Malve dropped it? Because the Malve knows subconsciously even the star having my hands is fishy. When you hold something fish in your hands, you don't guard it as much as the person who holds something honest. Honest people look after the money more than people who are playing funny money, monkey business. And therefore, because it fell, that's why we're concerned. Ad kana kofa alev. This is Rav Asi. Let's summarize Rav Asi's theory. It's very easy. Rav Asi says as follows. Why did Rabbi Meir in the Mishnah, but we didn't talk about Chachomim yet. We're only explaining Rabbi Meir now, by the way. Why did Rabbi Meir say that a star with a Christ should not be returned to the Malve, very, very easy in one sentence. The Malve and the Loive, and the Loive admit it's a good star. The Loive says, yes, it's a beautiful star. The Malve says, <laughs> of course, yeah. The Loive says, good star. So you give it back to the Malve. Eh, but if there's a Christ in the Chosim who said, this star fell down. Malve and Loive, that's up to them. They both agree, they both admit. The poor Lakuchas were concerned about because we say maybe it's an early star. Maybe that star is a star that the dates are playing against the Lakukois. We don't give a gun to the hands of the Malve to take and charge from the customers of Shimon of the Loive. That we don't do. Lest the date is against the Lakukois. That's Ravasi. I were not concerned. When it fell, we are concerned. Star that fell is already, you know, there's already police investigation. That's Ravasi. Comes Abaye. Comes another opinion. That's the second out of three opinions. Abaye Omar says Abaye, Eid of the Chasum of Zochin Loi. Abaye says something very radical, very radical. Abaye says, Eid of the Chasum of Zochin Loi, and I'm not even explaining to you the reason now. I'm not telling you the reason. Please accept it now as just a fact. Abaye says, I'm translating, once the Eidim are Chasumim on the Shtar, any Shtar Choyv, Already the Shibut begins without the Halvo. In other words, what Rav Asi said about the Kno, Abai says about every star. Abai says any star choiv. I don't care when the loan took place. Eidov Bachasumov. Once a star is written and was signed by Adim, and Adim we know hold very, very uh, a great deal of power in Halacha. Once the Edim are chasumim, we have signed the Shtar Choyv, and shh, I'm telling you a secret, a spoiler about later on, and it was given to the Malve, even though the Malve did not yet give the money, the Loib is a very trusting guy, eh? he gave it to the Malve before taking the loan, okay, why is a good question. The mere fact that there is a Shtar with Chasimus, that alone, even before the loan took place, that by itself is giving the Shibud to the Malve, and the Malve is allowed, Me'ikar Adin, Koshal Mahadrin, from the second he has a star with Chasimus in his hands, he can take the lands from all the customers of Leloive from now on, regardless to the actual Alvo. And continues the Gemara, the Afilu Shitre de Lava Kno, as I told you, even if it's a regular star, without a Kno, it's a regular star, without that additional frill, some, a regular star, you start collecting from when it's written and signed, not from the actual loan. Mimela, oh, I want to stop here, and I don't want to confuse you, but I I just can't not say it. Rashi asks the question, Abai saying something extremely radical here. What's Abai saying? The only trigger, the only factor here that causes Shibud is a Chasima, is a star, right? Okay. Whenever the star was Nechtam, that's when the deal happens, that's when all the Kirkos of the Loive, in one jiffy, in one instant, the all Meshubad to the Malve. Okay, I want to ask you a question. I'm not reading Rashi inside. I'm a little bit pressed for time, yeah? But Lemais, the Rashi asks, excuse me, <laughs> it's a Mishnah in, in Shviz, and it's a whole Sugi and Rosh Hashanah, and a whole business. Shtar Mukdam is possible. Alocha says that a Shtar Mukdam, a predated, you call it in English, and a predated Shtar is possible. According to Abai, when it's predated. <laughs> Whenever the date is, right? That's good. Rashi gives two answers. I'll, I'll tell you the second answer. Second answer of Rashi, which is simpler, says Rashi, a predated star that's possible 
is a star when they deliberately lie. Let's say the Malva and the Loive sit down in Tishrei, Tafshin Pei Beis. Hmm? I mean, Tishrei, Tafshin Pei Beis, they sit down and they purposefully lying and they write, predate it, and they write Nisan Tafshin Pei Aleph. That is Yesh Gvul. <laughs> There's a limit. That's when Abai says, that's a star Mukdam. Because your mom is lying. Yeah, you are signing it. What does Abai say? The date of the signing is a crucial date, is a pivotal date. But you're lying about the date. If the sign, if if we sign it in Nisan Tavshpeh Aleph and it's really in Nisan Tavshpeh Aleph, it's not a lie. That's when we signed it. But if you sign it half a year later and you write a lie, we are signing now, and you and now is half a year earlier than your mamish lying. Then you lied about the actual Hasima. When the Hasima and the Halvar two different times says about, excuse me. It's a free country. I, my name is Abaye, and I think Chasim is a real time. If the Chasim is in the real time, the signed half of Tafshin Pei Base, and it's real, they're good. The, the signature took place in the actual date from that date. That's real. But if today's half of Tafshin Pei Base, and I write half of Tafshin Pei Aleph, then I'm lying about the Chasim itself. There's a limit. People, then even Abaye would agree to the Mishnah and Shviz that it's a Shtar Mukdam and it's possible. Yeah? Too, am I too loud? Yeah. Okay. It's also a trafe and complete trafe. It's like Khazir. It's Khazir trafe. Star Mukdam, you're not allowed to be good even from, from the later. Even if the guy can prove the Malve that the Star Mukdam, let's say it's caught red handed with the Star Mukdam. So he says, okay, I will only borrow, I will only toy ref, charge from Lukuchas who bought really after the real Halva. We say no. We, the whole Star is trafe. You tear it. It's also like, when like eating chazir, it's it's straight star, which is real lie, a real stomach them straight. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, the two of them against the lekuchos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Continues the Gemara. What does Abaye have against Rav Asi's pshat? Mishum lekashele. Abaye has a question on Rav Asi. He's asking like this. Came and the Omar to be shitre the lava no. Since you say you as Rav Asi, my opponent says Abaye to Rav Asi, you say b'shtar the lava no. Regular shtar choy without a no. Ki leisel the malve ba'ade loy tezvinan. If the malve is not together with the loyve, you don't write it. If so, lekel mechesh di ikri v'kosu. In other words, he says no. I will not be concerned. Yeah, if I was your Rav Asi, I would not be concerned that just because it fell on the floor. Then something illegal happened to it. Abai is not of that concern. Abai says, no, if we really have a standard thing that all the kosher idiom in the world don't write predated stories, then it wouldn't be a concern. That's why I Abai, I prefer my pshat. Frag the Gemara now on Abai. Now we are we are now questioning Abai. We'll see soon in the next Mishnah. It says in the Mishnah like this: Matzah gite noshim. A man found in the street a get of a woman, a get showing that she's divorced. Yeah. The Shechu Avodim, yeah, a star shows that so and so Eved is a free man. Daitiki, Daitiki is the star that the Shriv Mera, remember Mr. Shriv Mera, Baba Basra, Daitiki is the star that basically describes what the Shriv Mera, the person in his deathbed, told his children how he's giving out the money. Yeah, Matono, star Matono. Oh, I want to focus on star Matono. Matono, for the modern Hebrew speaker, when I think of Matono, I think of, you know, a nice box with a red ribbon, yeah? No, that's not matana. Matana in halacha means a gift. Yeah, it does mean a gift, but the matana is in a shtal. When I give someone a gift, like I told you, Ellen, before about the deer, yeah? Every transaction, even for free, has to be given in a kinyan. So let's say I gave somebody a piece of land, the matana, I write it in a shtal, right? I write the shtal. I hereby give my apartment in uh, Timbuktu, I give it to my friend Shimon, right? It's written in a matano. It's a shtar. And if that shtar is not kosher, then the guy is not the owner of the of the land, of the matano. Yeah, matano is something uh, formal. Now, and he found it in the street, the shevorim, all kinds of documents. What shevorim? A receipt. A receipt. Let's say instead of after the person paid the loan, paid back the loan, what happens then? There are two options, and I'm not going now into why this, why that, Either the loyve, excuse me, the 
Malve gives it back to the loyve, and the loyve, no, yeah, either, sorry, sorry, let's start the, the normal way. Either the Malve tears the shtar, right? The loyve gave back the money to the Malve. Malve tears the shtar in his presence and puts it, nowadays he would put it where? In a shredder. Very cool thing, yeah? Or the other option is he gives him a shoival, yeah? In other words, the a receipt, the, the exchange, he gives him the star, and in return, he gives him a receipt saying, you were paid, yeah? You were paid, I was fully paid, and so on, so the debt was fully paid. That's a shoival. All those documents, you found them in the street, don't give them back to anybody. Why? Shema, listen to this. Maybe all these documents, documents were written Maybe he regretted and never gave them. Let's say get Isha. An entire week, she did not make him blinches. That's divorce for him, right? But then, so he wrote a get. An entire week without blinches? What's going on over here? For sure a get. He went to Basin, wrote a get. The morning after, beautiful blinches. Amazing. So he didn't give the get. So the get released by him. If you give it to the woman, that's terrible. Right? She'll walk around with a get. And Chasva Sholem be Mezane, right? She's an ancient age. Maybe, uh, same thing with Matano. Matano. Maybe what happens with Matano, right? Somebody wrote, I want to give my castle in Timbuktu to so and so. Hey, don't give it to the receiver, the recipient of the Matano, because maybe somebody wrote the Matano, but never actually gave it to him. You wrote a star, thinking maybe I'll give him a Matano one day for his next birthday. But you're giving it to the recipient. Maybe it's not the recipient. Maybe all these stars are standing in a standby, waiting to be given. Maybe another time. Maybe never. Right? Ah, if Pregnant Mara, wait, according to Abaye, why is that a problem? Let's say the person regretted. Let's say, let's take Matona. Let's pick on one child. Pick on one thing here in the list. Yeah? Let's pick on Matona. You say, oh, don't give the Matona star to anybody because maybe you wrote with Adim. Maybe he wrote Adim, Chasima, everything, but he didn't yet give him the Shtar Matano to the recipient, so don't give it to the recipient. Why? Why not? According to Abaye, Frank the Gemara, that Omar, you Abaye, you said, Edo Bechasum in Zochiloi. You said once it's written and signed, then already it belongs to the other person. So why are you concerned? Yeah, that's it says Reuben gives Shimon a land in Timbuktu. Don't give it to Shimon, because maybe Reuben wrote it and signed with Adim, but didn't give it to Shimon. Who cares that he didn't give it to Shimon? The mere fact that it's written and signed is already what is already already means that it's kilo activated, that the land belongs already to Shimon. So what's your concern? Who cares he didn't give it? Asma, it's signed by Adim. I thought by your by signed by Adim is, is the name of the game. He's a be all and end all. So what's the concern of the Mishnah? And so Zigmara, what I told you before, hey, hey I gave you the answer. And says Zigmara Nishta Zoi, Hani Mili, that is only true that Abaye says that the star with the Eidim Chasumim have superpower, and that's a crucial time and thing, that is only true. Hecha de Kamatu When they came to the hands of the recipient. Then we say, Shtar, with Chasima, that was given to the hands of whoever, of the woman, of the Evet, of the Matano, then it's activated. But if he did not come to his hands, we don't have that concern, which means in our Mishnah, in our Mishnah, what do we say? L'choyra, there shouldn't be a concern. In our Mishnah, we say Malve and Loive both agree that the Malve should have the star in his hands, right? If so, Mimeila, once the star was in the hands of the Malve, and the Loive admits to that, we know that the Malve should be the one holding it. Then, says Abai, there's no concern. There's no concern whatsoever. Why? The star was... Nechtam was signed by Edim, given to who? Given to the Malve. From that very second, it's activated, and the Shibu takes place even without the loan. That's what Abai said. But Abai, of course, did not say, if I keep the star by me and never gave it to the Malve, then no. If the Loiv signs the star, yeah, and never gave it to the hands of the Malve, then it's not yet activated. Of course, it has to be in the hands of the Malve, and it has to be in the hands of the receiver. It has to be in the hands of the woman and all that. I don't know if you noticed, but the Gemara is playing games with us, Kibyochol, because we don't yet see what's the issue of the Mishnah, according to Abaye. According to Abaye, what's the problem with the Mishnah? Yeah? I'm asking it before the Gemara. Abaye says, any star that's in the hands of the Malve, since the date, the date that's a crucial, pivotal, important date, 
is the date of the Chasima, then no problem. So Frek the Gemara, Elamas Nisin, and we're going to finish soon. Our Mishnah Diktani, the Mishnah says, Motzashit Lechoiv, it says their Mishnah, if you found a Shtar Choiv in the street, Imesh Bar Machais Nechosim, Lo Yachzir. If there's a Chais Nechosim, don't give it back to the Malve. Beukimna, and we explained it, Shechayev Moide, right? It says the Chayev admits, so what's the problem? Mishum Shem, Kotz of Livos, Menistan, Belolova, Tishrei, he said, you know, it's a big concern. Maybe the Shtar was written and given every year before the actual loan. Says the Gemara, does that concern Abaye? Is that a concern for Abaye? No. Frank the Gemara, Bishma Ravasi, according to Ravasi, then we say, yes, I understand the concern of the Mishnah. Doma Bishita Aknaisa. Ravasi says the only good star when you are allowed to predate is the star Aknioso. When it's written, I magnet you the land regardless of the law. Only then, Mukila Bishita, the love of Knyoso. The Mishnah talks about the regular star without the Knyoso. What did we say? The star fell? Mm-mm-mm. Star that fell, I'm concerned, is already a star that did not follow the banking protocol of Malvin and Loewe being together. It's a concern. As we said in our Ravasi, we're repeating Ravasi. But according to Abaye, according to Abaye, it says, regardless of a Knaisa Shmaknaisa, according to Abaye, the second the Edim Chasmans and gave it to the Malve without any loan, it's already the time when the Shibut started, Michael and Amar. So, so there's never concern. There's not predating by Abaye. Again, unless it's Mama Shishtar that's predated the Maisie, but that's very, very rare. That's damn fraudulent. That's very far away. Uh, excuse me for continuing one more line. You can't, it's a cliffhanger. Now listen to this. Abaye has the coolest answer in the world. You know it's the reason of the Mishnah? The and the We'll stop here. Listen to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever read any books of, you know, uh, uh-huh. the, here's the time. You know what the Malvin and Loive want to do? Piroin and Knunia. The Malvin lent the Loive million dollars. Million dollar. The Loive gave him back the million dollar. Now, and the Malve says, okay, I'll give it back the star. I'll tear the star. No, no, don't tear the star. You know what we can do? We can actually make some easy buck on the back of the Lakuchois. Why? We can play a game. We can now say that really the shtar will stay by the malve. They don't have to know that I returned the loan. And now you'll come to them, say, you know, Shimon, the lawyer, never gave him back his loan. Are you the customer of Shimon? Knock, knock, knock. Naughty boy. Give me your land. It's not predated. It's The dates are all right. And he's basically using the shtar again. And the malve and the loyve are working together, scheming a scheme against the lakuchois. That's why, according to Abad, the Lukuchas are vulnerable. So now the Malve and the Loive, the Malve plays the game. It's, uh, you know, uh, whatever, partners in crime. And who's going to split the money? You know, at the end of the movie, Malve and Loive laughing together, counting the dollars of the poor Lukuchos. So that's what we're concerned about. And we're only concerned in, about that in the start that's failed. To be continued tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much. Good day.